Well, this is our last meeting of uh, 2021. It's been a great year and I feel that 2022 will be even better. Let's jump right into the tech update. Raul, did you want, are you ready? Uh, yes, I am. I put the link uh, to the latest update um, in the chat and I'm sharing my screen. So welcome to Community Update 204, the last one in this in uh, 2021. Um, the status of the networks remains the same. Um, in terms of the LLBM, I talked about this document where the, um, the design for um, moving finalization fringe along with block merge uh, forward. Um, it, it, this is something that uh, Greg has written up and the team has uh, reviewed and added uh, more detail to it. Uh, so that document, that is what is being implemented now. NutZipper has implemented the uh, simple protocol based on the description and Greg is reviewing the implementation to make sure that it has fidelity to the spec. Um, and Tomislav separately using the same spec has created a simulation like uh, testing environment um, to analyze the behavior for any kind of DAG or network condition that may arise, um, different scenarios that might arise as we do this, um, uh, as we look at the interaction between block merge and the finalization fringe. Um, Greg had gone into some detail last debrief, so if you have not watched that, um, uh, feel free to do so. He explained really how this um, this design works. Um, with the work that Tomislav is doing, basically it's, it can be used not only as a uh, testing environment, but it actually will become, Tomislav is going to use that to generate the uh, uh, code basis uh, or he'll add code, actual code implementation to it um, so that we can immediately identify and resolve uh, any issues, any design issues and things like that that might arise. Uh, especially as it relates to either slowdown, you know, what happens if one of the nodes is slow? What happens if there's a bifurcation in the network or tending to be bifurcation in the network, that sort of thing. So those are the types of things his, uh, his tool will allow us to analyze. Um, Dennis is uh, continuing to integrate his, uh, his history data improvements into the hard fork two branch. Um, and running the tests. Um, and uh, basically, Stas and Tomislav are helping him with that because this is the first time he's having to set up the environments to be able to uh, do such an integration and tests. Uh, so that's going on. <clears throat> Stas is working on a task to refactor graph Z. Um, this is the module where we use uh, graph ways to generate DAG or visualize the DAG. Um, both for debugging purposes um, and, and other uh, reasons. And this is something that will begin to give stars an exposure into how is the how are the different components working, uh, the DAG store, the block store, uh, and all of that. So and the, so he's resolving some of the issues that issues described here. And what he's doing here actually would also be a similar kind of refactor or improvement would also be applicable to the um, cost accounting side of things where a similar pattern was used in the code before. So he's doing, uh, he's looking at the graph with part right now. And he's got a PR that's uh, 3574, you can take a look at that. Um, and Will is continuing to work on his uh, POS contract improvements. Um, especially related to unforgeable vault and the keys. Um, so he's, uh, he's doing that, he's reviewing other PRs and uh, I have a typo here, but uh, um, he will be looking into the um, double spend um, part that Tom Slow was working on before that needed to be completed for his, uh, his part. Basically Tom Slow did uh, substantial improvements to the rev transfers. One piece there that uh, is left undone as of now is the uh, double spent stuff. So that's something that um, we'll, we'll look, look into after he's done with these tasks. Um, th that's the main uh, development update in terms of what's going on. Um, 
just a couple of uh, planning and logistics things. Uh, much of the team will be working part-time this week and next uh, because of the holidays. And um, over the next several weeks, the team is going to have a conversation uh, or have conversations around the development priorities for 2022. Um, and we will be updating the roadmap accordingly. So basically current thinking, and we'll see what else evolves, what else arises in the conversations, is to focus on improving the developer experience, um, increasing market engagement, and doing whatever is necessary on the development side to enable those two things. Um, and then of course, the developer engagement, the broader developer engagement, um, uh, and what needs to be done for that to make it easy for developers to come on board um, and simply use what they know um, and get going with deploying something on the network uh, relatively easily. So the, the idea is that we want to make it as easy as possible for people to deploy as many dApps and sizable dApps on the platform as possible in 2022. So that's kind of the goal we're working towards. And uh, we'll be relooking at the uh, roadmap in, in that, uh, with that lens. So th that is all the updates I have. Um, are there any questions on any of this or comments? All right, over to you, Greg. Ah, thanks very much. Um, let's see. Um, we had a very short board meeting uh, this week. Um, we do have a few updates. So one, one is that I'm um, giving my usual end of year uh, discussion of unpublished results. And I think for this year, I will spend some extra time talking through um, the notational framework that I um, um, set forth in the document uh, on the um, finalization of block merge because that, uh, that provides a, a framework in which to do a, a full proof of correctness for Casper. So I'll talk about that uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday. So uh, set your calendars for that. Also, um, if you are interested, uh, this, uh, uh, this week, Marcus Reuter published his uh, interview with, um, uh, uh, with me. Uh, and if folks are interested, Marcus, uh, despite being a musician, and Marcus and I have, have uh, worked together as musicians uh, quite a bit this last year, um, but he, uh, he wanted to know more about the math. <laughs> side of my life so so he uh he was very interested in the row calculus and uh and arching so the interview um uh, does uh, spends a lot of time talking about uh, row and arching so if people are interested in that um here is the interview uh i've gotten a lot of um a lot of feedback from various communities that they they thought the uh they thought the conversation was very good. Um, they really enjoyed it. And so you might find it good or you might find that uh, there's someone in your network that, um, that is uh, interested um, in uh, uh, learning more about our chain and the mathematical foundations of our chain. Um, well, let's see, we are all set to um, participate in the Paris blockchain um, uh, meetings in April. Um, the Davos uh, engagement uh, because of Omicron has been pushed to uh, June. Um, what am I forgetting? We had a few other we had a few other topics we wanted to cover. Anybody remember? We do have new pitch deck. Um, which uh, we will uh, go over in detail in the closed door session, not this Friday, but the, the Friday following. So uh, that would be what special thanks to, to Daryl for working on this uh, combined pitch deck of RPC, Dazzle, and Archain uh, over the holiday. 
So yeah. thanks, Daryl. Indeed. Indeed. Is Daryl on the call? Do we have, do we have a Daryl? No. Okay. He's traveling. Nope. Okay. I think I'm going to be doing the weekend review for him. Oh, Nora. Awesome. Well, I was just about to turn it over to the weekend review. So if you're ready, uh, rock and yes. roll. Yes. Um, I have to say there's not too, too much to report because we had a couple of holidays. So happy holidays, everybody. Um, Thursday was the um, governance committee call. Uh, then there was the work study Friday. We did not have the climate and coordination RCAS because it was Christmas um, Eve. And um, there was also the Argov smart contract call. Then Monday was the Casper standup. And um, apparently this week's Casper standup in introduced a notation and framework for a complete formal specification and automated proof for the correctness of Casper. Is that about right, Greg? That's exactly right, yes. Oh, charming. Okay, um, so then after that was the RDEV member co-op planning um, uh, call. Tuesday was the R chain education call. Steve, um, would you like to say anything about what you did there? We didn't have it this week. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, and then, of course, uh, the communications working group call did not happen this week either because various people were um, in transit on planes and trains and other things. Um, and then also was there the DAP developer work, uh, um, work study group? Was that happening today? Or sorry, yesterday or no? Uh, uh, that I wasn't I'm not there. So... Uh... I don't know if uh, David's not here, so I'm not, I don't know if anyone showed up. Okay. Well, if there's anything to note about that, we'll maybe tell you next week, and, and now it's today. So thank you. Sorry, it's a bit sparse, but um, progress forward, no less. <laughs> no, thank you, Nora. I appreciate it. Any questions for Nora? Okay. I have a question about... Um, the uh, Casper proof of cor uh, correctness uh, at seven is that uh, at seven uh, p.m. Pacific time on Thursday. Seven a.m. Pacific That's tomorrow. Tomorrow in the morning. In the evening. Uh, seven a.m. Yes, yeah, so it'll be at ten a.m. for you. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Um, I see. I think we covered just about everything that we were going to cover. I would recommend to anyone who uh, has the time, um, Netflix, uh, Don't Look Up. It's a fantastic satire. Uh, uh, of Truly the, terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic satire by Adam McKay on uh, on the uh, climate change situation. Very, very, very well, well done, entertaining and horrifying all at once. <laughs> if anybody isn't familiar with Adam McKay, he um, is the producer on the HBO hit show Succession. And he also did the um, amazing film, um, The Big Short, which was about the financial crisis. So some people might be familiar with his work there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Very, very, very good. Uh, the actors turn in stellar performances. Um, and <laughs> it's actually the number one movie on Netflix now. And considering it's about climate, I think that's very exciting. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> um, uh, and, and, and that's, uh, that's it uh, for, uh, for this um final meeting for 2021 unless the, is anyone from the community who has any questions comments or things they'd like to share Greg, did you mention the meeting is in the same zone room as the community brief uh yes uh actually i was going to have the 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 um the cast the the, the you know end of year technical discussion be in my zoom room not the community zoom room so it'll be in my Zoom room, that way. Okay. Yeah. Good. But thanks for the reminder. Okay.
Uh, I really appreciate all of the work and the effort that the community has put in. And I feel very excited about uh, uh, 2022. I think it's going to be a remarkable year. Uh, and finally, uh, I announced in Discord, um, the Crown album has dropped and 50% of all sales go to Arching Development. So if you want to um, support Arching Development in that way and get some excellent music um, from some world-class musicians, uh, uh, consider, uh, consider purchasing the album. So that's a, another way and letting your friends know about the album uh, because uh, uh, whatever, uh, half of every, of every dollar goes to our chain dev. All right. Happy new year all. And please stay safe, stay warm. Happy new year. You on the other side. Happy new year, everyone. Happy new year.